Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. Yes, talk shows usually have more than one person in it, but we're waiting for our new set to be built, so you're just going to have to wait until then. All right, let's hit the headlines. Our very first headline of the day is about a little RC car that can go over 100 miles per hour. Check this thing out. James Beswick is the designer of this amazing little RC car. He has been an RC enthusiast for quite some time, and 3D printing is actually taking his cars to the next level, which is pretty cool. His most recent car, as we said, goes over 100 miles per hour, and Beswick attributes 3D printing to his success, saying it speeds up building processes and lets him pick out the best materials to make his cars with. Now, Beswick is determined to keep making new 3D printed RC cars until he can break the world speed record. Now, the Guinness Book of World Records lists that as 202.02 miles per hour, but honestly, I think he can make it. Okay, producer, I'm gonna play that clip again so we can hear the sound. <laughs> going from the ground to outer space, NASA this week released some amazing high-res images of the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. The Hubble Space Telescope sent some spectacular images of Jupiter, which NASA created two new maps from and a 4K video showing off the new information. There are some really interesting changes happening on Jupiter, including a new filament we've never seen before and confirmation that the great red spot we all know and love is actually shrinking and also shifting in color to a slightly more orangey hue. If you're watching today's show on a smartphone, do yourself a favor and toss that big, beautiful 4K video NASA made up onto the biggest, highest resolution screen you have, because honestly, it's pretty inspiring to check out. Okay, so the very last headline we have today is about temperature-controlled digital robotic fingers. This story comes from researchers at Florida Atlantic University. They're using temperature changes to curl and uncurl robotic fingers designed to look and feel like our own human digits. Now, actuators for flexing and extending were trained to take specific shapes when respectively heated or cooled. Unfortunately, since it takes a little bit of time for the actuators to cool down, using them in current technology is not quite the best choice for things like human prosthetics, so they think that underwater robotics might be the best place to start testing. Ultimately, their goal is to, in fact, adapt that technology, though, to human prosthetics, making it a really cool thing to check out and also uh, pretty intuitive, so nice work, guys. All right, let's go from headlines to Mod Squad. <laughs> This is easily my favorite Mod Squad we've featured on the show thus far, and it's about lifting Thor's hammer. Alan Pan is known on YouTube as Sufficiently Advanced, and he made this amazing modded out replica of Thor's hammer Mjolnir that only he can lift. It's powered by Arduino and a large electromagnet from a microwave, plus a fingerprint scanner. There are more elements to it than that, which you can check out in the video online, but the basic concept is this. The hammer is placed on a metal surface, the electromagnet gets switched on, and nobody can lift the dumb thing up. Unless you're Alan Pan, whose fingerprint shuts off the magnet and lets him hoist Mjolnir as he is worthy. Still, it makes for a really fun party trick. I will give you that, Alan. Nice work. All right, let's check out your pictures. Our phone talker for the day today is Jen, who took this picture with her iPhone 5S. She emailed us and she wrote very briefly, but very succinctly, you have my permission to use photos of my very dramatic baby, Claire, on your show. She loves tech and says it tastes great. This is what takes up all the memory on my iPhone 5S. Well, uh, Jen, yes, your baby, Claire, is super adorable, and I'm sure she loves to taste all of the different pieces of technology that you buy in your house, as babies do. Uh, but yeah, super dramatic picture. I love the shadow and the color and the lighting. It's really great. Uh, and if you guys want to send in your photography to be featured on the show, you can, of course, email us. Tomorrow at CNET.com is the email address. Send us your name, the picture, what device you took it on, and tell us a little story about it. Oh, and give us permission to use it on the show. If you want to share the show with somebody, which I would really appreciate, you can always give them the address tomorrowdaily.com. You can find us all over the internet at Tomorrow Daily on your favorite social media sites, unless it's Snapchat. And you can find me and producer Logan online on Twitter at Ashley Eskeva and at Logan Moy. Well, that's it for today's show. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird science fact meeting science fiction. Uh, but until then, be good humans. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, my God.